improper police procedure. They didn't have my right to arrest me that day. Yeah. Okay, now at school, she was interrogated at school without your permission. Yes. Where? I had no, I didn't know nothing about it till I come home that evening. She told me about it. Did you ever wonder why they did it at school instead of didn't just coming like right here to the house? You just live it, up exactly, in Edry exactly. for the Central Union. Exactly. Why didn't he come to the house? Or better yet, why didn't he call and ask me whether I had a shotgun? I'm not going to lie to him. Yeah. So were any school officials present uh, at that meeting with Tiffany? Not that I'm aware of. So as far as you know, that Tiffany just had uh, spoke in front of the police. Yes. Who all who who was involved in that interrogation? It was Brad Totten. Were any other police involved? No. So it was just Brad Totten interviewing her by herself. Yes. Did she tell you where it was? Was it in the principal's office? Was it in the library where where it was? She didn't. She didn't tell me. Did where they it videotape was. it or anything? No. No tape recording that you know of. No. So when she came home that evening, she was uh, concerned that uh, she had been interrogated by the police. And did she tell you what she was asked? She was asked where I had the shotgun at. Okay. If I had a shotgun and where it was at. And basically that's all that that interview amounted to, right? Was that question? Pretty much it, yeah. Well, now, when you found out about this, what did you do? That she had been interrogated without your knowledge or permission? Well, I called and left that message to him, and I also, also called the principal. So you called the sheriff's office, and then you called the high school. I called the high school. Who did you talk to at the Mr. high school? Sanders. Did you get a chance to talk to Mr. Sanders? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. So and Mr. Sanders knows. I told him okay. that if Brad Totten ever showed up there again, that I was to be called and he was not to speak to her until I got there. And he said, okay. So have they made any other overtures to get her to talk to them at the high school since then? Well, she said that it was Thursday. I think it was Thursday. Um, she said she was pulled out of class. There was somebody who wanted to talk to her. Um, she said the only person she seen was the sheriff. And she said she seen a couple state police vehicles sitting in the parking lot. Now, does is Tiffany, uh, do, does she know what the, who the sheriff looks like? She wouldn't have made a mistake in IDing him there, right? No, she, she knew exactly who it was. And this he, is... he spoke to her. He told okay. him that she looked pretty that day. Okay. But so, the, the school officials, Mr. Sanders was not there. He's, he was absent. Right. But he had told Mr. Lindsay, which he told me on the phone that day, that he would tell Mr. Lindsay. And they told them that they was not allowed to speak to her. But when I called the school the next day, Mr. Lindsay was like, there was no police here to talk to Tiffany. So there's a denial that the sheriff was there? Yeah. Okay, let me get this. Uh, Tiffany sees the sheriff there. The sheriff speaks to her. But whenever you raise the question, then you were told that there were no police at all there? Exactly. That's strange. Wonder why they would deny that. I have no idea. But at any rate, didn't they? <laughs> If there were police there, they didn't interrogate her that day. No, they did not. And so you have left some type of standing order, if you will, that they are not to interrogate your daughter. Until I am Until there. you are there. And I also called you and requested you to be there and for you to videotape. And I have volunteered to do to video any of those for any, you know, any person that um, the par parents give permission for.